Oh yeah. All right guys, now it is the most important part. The taste test. Here goes nothing. Representing what everybody hates about cyclists, right here guys. Perfect definition. Right inside the bike lane. Alrighty guys, just got back from my rides Monday, um, the 16th. Had a pretty big test this morning. I was up super early. Yeah, uh, I was the first one to class, and it was like, damn, he's just creeping in the back right now. Uh, yeah, it was, it was. It was really. Um, it was a good test. I feel like I did pretty good on it. But uh, ready for the semester to be over, so I can go to school for uh, six hours a day next semester. Yeah. Uh, so we're gonna go to class again right now and then um, might get in a training session after that. But uh, yeah, we're nearing the end of the semester so I'm really stoked about it. But yeah, let's get through the rest of the day and I will see you in the next part of the video. Alrighty guys, so I wanted to do a quick little voiceover uh, for you guys to let you know how this training session went and it was actually pretty good. Uh, you're seeing me start with my overhead press and then move on to bench. All in all, I figured I would want to do this and uh, really just get it out of the way. I'm restarting all of my pressing movements. I'm just going to go back to a uh, just weight that's controlled that I feel the best at. And right now it's going to be 115. Uh, I worked with 115 for five reps on my overhead press. And then um, uh, so I can manage 80s. Um, on the flat bench right now for five reps and that's where I'm gonna be starting at. So I'm gonna keep it there, that's the way I'm gonna do it. And um, I, that's the way I feel best at. Just, I'm gonna stimulate the most muscle groups um, that way and just feel um, the best that way. Um, so that's what we're gonna do right now. And overall this training session went pretty good and I got a lot out of it. And uh, that's the way I'm, I'm handling it right now. And as far as a uh, program goes, I'm gonna be going into uh, researching a few different ones. And uh, actually going to be most likely starting a, uh, uh, just a generic strength program uh, that's not geared for cycling soon. So that's it for the workout. Stay tuned for the rest of the video. Alrighty guys, so it's about that time, about the weigh-in right now. It's been... Um, Probably about two weeks since my last one. I was like 156, 157 or something like that. So overall, I actually feel like I gained, um, gained some weight. So um, then again, it's really, you know, it's pretty unpredictable. Let's get to it. Sweet. Alrighty guys, so an upward trend, so pretty good. Um, like I said, past videos, weight is not an overall indicator of one's progress, but um, it does show you a, a good idea or a general idea of where you are, um, you know, so something to keep in mind, and uh, yeah, so we're still looking to uh, to keep hammering at home, uh, goal is still strength. Really hope I keep up with the uh, upward trend and keep going with it, so stay tuned for the rest of the video, guys. Alrighty, guys, it is about 6.30 right now, I just got back home from training, school, gym, ride usual and then I went to the grocery store as well so I want to show you guys what I picked up so let's get right to it but first do not pick this up at the store car keys go over there I believe it or not just saw these it looked like they I've never seen these before I want to try a whole wheat Ritz I'll be doing a review for you guys for sure with these so um yeah they looked actually pretty good and I'm a huge fan of whole wheat stuff not I don't care about um whole wheat versus white garbage I just actually like the texture usually of whole wheat stuff so um garlic salts yeah pretty straightforward diet cocoa stuff goes really good in coffee this will be going in my recipe tonight that i got going for you guys uh the typical this is my favorite flavor right now from for the cashew milks um that seven up pretty standard 
I'm trying out frozen veggies right now, so I'm gonna try out Brussels sprouts tonight probably and see how they taste. Um, baked or roasted. If you want to see. Some chopped broccoli right here. Uh, used to be a huge frozen veggie guy. Um, I just always bought fresh, so I'm gonna try something new. Basil leaves. I'm gonna make some hummus with this tonight, so. Um, my all time, this is my all time, all time favorite peanut butter. Um, when we're just talking about regular peanut butter, this stuff is amazing. Shout out to Lara Scudder. This feels when you're about to open a brand new container of peanut butter. Now, this is very important, about to show all of you unawares what to do with natural peanut butter. Stick your knife in your peanut butter. Very, very, very important right here. Very important not to waste peanut butter, guys. Now that the hard part's done, just turn it upside down. Red lentils, so pretty good right there. Standard broccoli for the night. Uh, a lot of apples and pears. So if you guys, uh, Bosque pears are currently my favorite ones, and um, I can't remember what's what these are called. Red anjo anoj pears. These are really good too. Um, they're the best when they're really soft. Oh, so good. Tofu. Um, that is another thing, and that's the final. That's the final part of all of this. And the last thing I wanted to let everybody know is that this is really going to be my last. Um, or my only thing that I'll be consuming uh, fake meat wise, or I don't know what you would say. Uh, but yeah, everybody's been commenting. Um, I actually want to see how I fare too uh, on how much I eat. Well, I really don't eat that much fake meat. Like I have these. These are like really good um, fishless fillets that I like to have. But all in all, I don't really have that much fake meat, but I, I do um, here and there. So I just wanna try to minimize it right now and just um, you know see how, how I feel from that. And um, yeah, possibly get more beans, more other protein sources in my diet. So uh, we'll see what goes from there. But yeah, I'm gonna try it out and see. So that's what I got at the store. Stay tuned for the rest of the video. Guys, it's time to make some cinnamon rolls. Alrighty guys, moment of truth. Let's see how they turned out.
All right, guys, now it is the most important part. The taste test. All right, guys, I'm outside of GameStop right now. Hopefully gonna try to get the new Star Wars game. Hopefully it's not sold out. Score! Goodbye. Free time. Alrighty guys, so long day, finally done. Um, yeah, I was able to get in some training today, um, but really nothing too significant, so I'm not gonna put it in the video. Did wanna say though, I am so stoked to finally give, I've been waiting for this game for a while. Battlefront. Star Wars Battlefront, the new one. So if you guys can already tell, my gamer tag is Eric the Electric, so feel free to add me on Xbox Live and we can play together. Don't know if I'll be able to get on tonight or the next night, but be sure to add me and I'll be happy to game with you guys and uh, talk to all of you loyal subscribers. What is going on guys? I'm about to try out Special K's protein cereal, uh, wheat, rice, and soy flakes. Uh, I'm gonna be giving this a shot. Smells like absolutely nothing. Just generic wheat flakes. Look at it. So, pretty standard right there. Hmm. They say lightly sweetened, but surprisingly, it's actually pretty sweet. Wow. Um, it's in, uh, strangely enough, it's, you know, when you think of like flakes, you think it's going to be more of a easy to chew cereal. These are actually pretty chewy. Maybe it's just a cashew milk, but I'd say they're pretty much just like, the, like all brand cereal. If you guys have had like generic all brand cereal or like raisin brand without the raisins with a little bit extra sweetness to them. So. Um, these always like, cereals like these like stick to my teeth, so I don't know, it's just a weird thing with me, but yeah, give it a shot if you haven't already. I definitely would buy these again, I'd rate them, a, I'd give them a 7 out of 10. So, give them a shot.